Okay, so here's another video on the MIG. It occurred to me that uh, while I've done a lot of this, um, maybe someone who's watching this hasn't done any of it, and actually has some curiosity as to how it's done, and I would suggest that they go find someone who knows what they're doing. But for novelty use only, I'll talk about what I do. So, I have burned up several of these in the pursuit of happiness. Um, this is my pattern. I may have showed it to you before, but this has uh, got a couple of significant things. It, it, it sets the depth of the piece and the, and the pitch of this line. Also, there's a little mark right there, which actually sets the um, kind of this, this angle right here, as you can see. So if you got the part in there exactly right, then um, supposedly happiness happens. Um, of course, I, I'm not going to actually lay fiberglass up on this piece of cardboard. I use this, uh, I don't remember what the brand is, but this is sheet installation. I like it because it's extremely stable, and while the surface is not particularly um, flat, it's still a very good thing to make a part out of, and uh, it basically holds together. So, what I did was I cut this piece um, to be roughly you know, a part of that. And then the way you get your witness lines, you know, which you can't, I don't want to cut this up to, to get that line. So you simply place the part on top of it like this, like so, and take a uh, ice pick and put these holes in it. So you now, you now have that line and, uh, but you don't have this line, okay? So the way you get that line is you, uh, you take your, your pattern, it says passenger, and you stick it back in here like this, which I can't do, actually do the real thing because I've got one hand busy with this camera. But you'll hold this here and you cut these. And these are actually anchors. And basically this one's already cut. It turns out that it's almost perfectly square. I gotta pull one line on it. But basically what I will do is I will glue these on like this. And then I will use that actually to glue this part. Um, well, actually it goes over here. So if I go over here. I'll show you over here. So this part will go in like that, but you can see the lines actually kind of match up. And uh, I'll have probably three blocks, one, one kind of right about here, one here, and one at the corner, which will stabilize this. And when I glue it in, it'll, it'll be dimensionally sound. And that will basically form the entire corner of this, and it will get laid up from the inside. I'm also going to do a second piece that will come from here over into this corner and basically recreate this line all the way to that corner and I'll actually create that corner. And once the, all of this is glued in on both sides, then, um, then I'll do a fiberglass layup um, from the inside here and let all this cook off. And then that'll be the beginning of the actual part with the exception of whatever it is I'm going to do down here. So there you go.